Hi, my name is Dalila Brooks and I am an artist and graphic designer, um, born and raised and living in Washington, DC. Uh, my background and journey into art began when I was younger and my mother uh, took me around the city to free art classes and workshops, not to mention um, going to school in DC public schools, there were always wonderful art programs and classes there where there was music, um, uh, literature and or actual art and or um, sometimes it's textile something um, and it actually uh, stuck with me for so long that um, after I finished my undergrad in psychology I went on to Maryland Institute College of Art and got my master's in digital art uh, after that, I worked at a magazine called Emerge Magazine that was owned by Black Entertainment Television, which was my first graphic design opportunity, and I learned on the job, and it was a great, great, great experience. Um, I've been graphic designer since then for more than 20 years, and I have since springboarded into film production, and now as a fine artist, I take um, reclaimed items and materials and make art out of them and tell stories with them. Um, this particular exhibition called Frame of Mind um, includes a variety of portraits with interlaced stories and those stories are, are revealed in various ways with one image each. I would love for people to walk away from this ex exhibition wondering about the fantastical mysteries of life and appreciate uh, the magic we see every day from Mother Nature and also uh, appreciate the rich history that we have as um, unique individuals. Um, now, this exhibition is not necessarily about African culture or African American culture. But, um, but it, there is a close relationship between it, um, just by me making the art and being an African-American. My parents were in the Pan-African movement in the 70s when I was born, and it was about bridging the cultural gap between Africans and African-Americans to offer us um, Black Americans a, a richer historical uh, perspective um, outside of just being born out of being a slave. Um, and they also gave me an African name so that I could always feel connected to my universal ancestors. My name is Dalila Rashida. Uh, more of my, my work can be found at www.nowords.space uh, where my social media links are there. Um, and it would be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to have this exhibition filled every single day with people. Uh, but really what's more important is that the people that do go to the exhibition walk away with something a little bit greater than, um, than what they came with. And that is a different perspective to see the world and to find themselves fitting into a world that they're a part of. And to create the world that they want to be a part of and, and have that um, you know, be at the forefront of their minds and the people that they see and admire um, you know, in, in, in popular culture or in the public uh, world um, have gone through certain steps in life in order to get there and it's not always very easy and some things that are are unseen are the drivers to get there some things that are tragedies get you there and some things that are wonderful get you there but everybody has a different story and everybody has a different way in which they perceive the world and uh, are motivated by the things that are seen both seen and unseen and um, I, I really hope that it inspires people to want to um, uh, support each other so that communities um, are more supportive of each other than hurtful. And I'm so grateful for GW Art Reach uh, for giving me this opportunity. This is my first solo exhibition and I, I look forward to seeing some of you there.